Hello and good morning everybody. Today, to me, is a rather special day. Uh, it is the 16th of September 2020 and today is my 10 year anniversary of being on YouTube. So, I've been working here all night at my desk, trying to edit and finish editing. I've been working on this for a couple of days, trying to edit a video like a compilation of the last 10 years of YouTube. So I've got the first video I've ever uploaded, the most popular video I've ever uploaded, and then a few sections of videos I've done. So I kind of wanted to do a quick introduction to say thank you to everybody who has ever supported me in any fashion on this channel. Um, the channel has obviously been through a few changes over the years. We started very much in the survival bushcraft area. We're now very much in the education area. And I think that ties quite nicely with my life the education I've been through and the things I now enjoy. So we're going to jump straight into the laptop, I'm going to let you guys watch this and I'll be back with a short goodbye at the end. Hey guys, Andrew from White Wolf Bushcraft here. I'm going to do a quick look at my possible pouch, EDC, no not EDC, my hike and carry or my last ditch bag, whatever you want to call it. Hey YouTube, this is Andrew, the White Wolf Bushcrafter. Uh, I'm going to talk to you today quickly about my hammock setup for last night. Um, I've got sleeping out Mummy's sleeping bag. bags can open at both ends. So I've opened it down the bottom and I put my hammock through. So here's my hammock and here's my hammock. But the sleeping bag is all the way around the hammock. So quite simply, what you can do, you just sit in your hammock let me get my shoes off, I don't want to get mud in them. <laughs> Wiggle your way in. Pull your blanket over you. Set your blanket up properly first. Reach down and pull the sleeping bag up. And it'll act like a sleeve. Hey guys, it's Andrew, the White Wolf Bushcrafter. Going to do a quick video. Going to talk about different types of fire starters. What I've got. This cotton wool ball is untouched, this one soaked in alcohol hand gel, this one a bit of kitchen olive oil, and this one Vaseline. What I'm gonna... Ready? Here goes nothing. Okay, remember, normal, hand gel, olive oil, Vaseline. Hey guys, Andrew, what I've pushed for here today. Um, today I'm going to be using the Beginner's Guide to Bushcraft, the basic kit, and making part two of the video, um, Beginner's Guide to Bushcraft Fire. Um... And there we have it guys, we have fire. Yeah, well, this is the other side of the rail where the flame's gone in. This has got a little flame. Look at that. Hey guys, Andrew, Watch Bushcrafter here. Uh, I'm going to do a quick review today of my new Cold Steel Trailhawk. Hey guys, Andrew, Watch Bushcrafter here to do another knife review today. This one is of the Jack Pike 3.5 inch skinning knife. I'm here today to do a quick video. I was tagged by Jordan, um, Bushcraft Boy Knight 14 on YouTube, and to do a video about more clipper and the uh, modifi modifications and the kit I can put on the sheath. Oh, 
going to do my first unboxing today and uh, this is it the Bear Grylls folding scout I'm going to do a, now I'm going to do a review test for you of my large camp knife top steel eagle 107c coming to you from the woods today I've been asked what is bushcraft brilliant question I love it when scouts ask me that it's mainly scouts as you can hear, we have these uh, more frog, Rana Arvalis here, calling. There are about 20 of them. You can see the very white throat. Uh, it's more whiter than uh, Rana Tebraria, the common frog. Hey guys, Andrew here. We're just going to go for a quick short video today. This is what we call a navigation hack. This We're going to talk today about predators or these three lovely mysterious animals which occur here in Auckland. Like for the first one, what brings you into ecology study and the nature conservation? Did you ever hesitate about this career? Well, Anything yes. you Captive breeding of animals. So I'm not going to not going to do so much into the, the ethics around this, more the methods and the positive and negative outcomes. Conservation breeding, uh, captive breeding. But hello, a little bit about me to begin with. This is the mysterious mammals of Sweden. You may remember we are concentrating on the Arctic fox, the wolverine and the lynx, primarily the Arctic fox. My study species. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. That's uh, six and a half, seven minutes or so of very, in my opinion, cringy and also very nostalgic footage from over the years. Now, obviously, I've taken a few breaks from YouTube during the time. You know, I stopped posting about five years ago and I started posting again this year. So there's a four year hiatus in the middle there. <clears throat> but last week I hit my 50, 50 upload marker. Yeah, I got that email from YouTube saying, well done, you've now uploaded 50 videos to your channel. And I was like, well, I've been on here for 10 years. That's pretty slow, but I am happy with where we're at. We have a good number of followers, uh, subscribers, and we're obviously hoping to grow the channel more, do more education, kind of share what we're doing. But again, to everybody, thank you. You are wonderful. Now I'm going to end this with one of my favorite bloopers of all time. Thank you.